Aloha, beautiful family. I'm Rachel Kradish, and I'm here today to talk to you about how to enjoy Los Angeles traffic. I know, it seems like an impossible feat, but it is so possible and so doable, and I would love to share with you how. So people ask me all the time about why I enjoy LA traffic because it tends to come up in conversation and I share that I love it and that I truly enjoy it. So I'm excited to share this with you today. And of course, it's not just for LA traffic, it's wherever you may find yourself in traffic. So one of the things that you can do to truly enjoy your sacred time in traffic is to think of it as that, sacred. Think of it as a time to go inward you are in a very potent bubble of metal. Think of it as like a little spaceship, right? You're in, a, you're in your own little secluded spaceship. It is a very beautiful, sacred time to, number one, pray. It's a great time to go inward and use that time to pray. So to manifest, to bring into existence whatever it is that you are wanting right now in your life. One of the things I tend to pray for, also it's a time to give thanks and gratitude. So one of the things that I do is I will give thanks and praise for my car and I will show gratitude in the ways of just using my words and honoring and praying for my car to be divinely guided and taken care of and just giving so much so much thanks for the fact that I have a car that takes me everywhere I need to go, that it has taken me so many places on so many incredible journeys, and that it runs so well, and that it has all these miles, and yet it still keeps going, and just truly honoring what an amazing, miraculous thing a car even is. There is a time where cars were a vision of the future that didn't even seem possible to some and now it is they are everywhere and oftentimes we forget how miraculous they are and we take them for granted so truly honoring that which they are and again giving thanks and praise and praying for your day praying to be divinely guided through your experience what will you have me say where will you have me go who will you have me speak to God, goddess, creator, source, spirit, whatever it is that you pray to, taking a moment to, to pray for your, for your day. Um, so also that gratitude piece, gratitude is truly a magic wand. That which you point your magic wand of gratitude to will expand and become more. And when we can take the time to truly honor that which we already have, it makes room for more to come while at the same time giving that thing more value and truly honoring that thing which you are pointing that gratitude wand in the direction of and so you can this is a practice that I have every single day as much as humanly possible I am remembering to bring myself back to gratitude um, this is something that has truly changed my life and so in those moments when you're in traffic even giving thanks for and gratitude for the traffic you know I truly believe that everything is divinely guided so maybe if it wasn't for that traffic you would have gotten in an accident or it would have caused something else down the road that was unfavorable so again just giving thanks and praise for what is if you're in traffic there's a reason why you're in traffic and maybe it's also giving you a chance to the other thing that I love to do in traffic is to just go inward so thank you traffic for giving me a chance to go inward feeling into your body how do you feel in this moment what are you feeling inside of yourself are you feeling anxiety are you feeling that kind of stress nervousness about like wherever you're going or whatever is coming up for you about what you have to do later that day giving yourself a moment what is that do you guys hear that that is an intense noise okay it's gone uh, giving yourself a moment to just feel into your body how are you feeling right now what are you experiencing and what would you like to experience maybe you're having an experience that is not favorable maybe you're feeling that I do tend to feel some anxiety about or not anxiety I don't even want to call it that but 
we'll call it excitement. Excitement about certain places where I'm going or if I'm gonna have a meeting with someone or really, ex you know, an exciting experience. So taking a moment to just breathe into your belly. Deep, deep belly breathing, calming your energy, allowing yourself to just center, rebalance, recalibrate yourself, right? Giving yourself that sacred time to just go inward. The other thing that I keep in my car is a little container, a little glass container with Palo Santo and sage. So for those of you who don't know what those are, sage is a dried, it's a, it's an herb, it's a, a leaf from the earth and you can light it and it actually is really powerful for cleansing. It cleanses out bacteria in the air, it cleanses the air in a really beautiful way. It actually stays in the air for 24 hours. So it's an incredible thing to do while you're in the car to cleanse your energy, to cleanse the space in your car. You know, if someone got in your car and especially you Lyft drivers out there, someone gets in your car and they've got some really intense energy, you just like sage after they leave and like totally clear the air, feel really good, clear your own energy and like come back to yourself. Also Palo Santo is a, um, it's a stick, it's a, well it's a wood um, and it comes in the form of a stick and you can light that one and that one's really powerful for intention, so for setting intention. So if you're wanting to, say you're going into a meeting and you want to set an intention for how the meeting's going to go, perfect opportunity to pray and to set your intention with your Palo Santo to guide that experience and name whatever it is that you are wanting to experience within that that time of where you're where you're headed and that 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 meeting that you're on your way to or whatever it is maybe it's a date or something um, so being able to use those as a tool while you're driving and be able to not only calm your energy through that but also it's those are both very powerful centering tools um, so the other thing that I love to do I love audiobooks I use Audible a lot and I have all of my Audible books ready to go on my app and I will listen to audiobooks and I take that as time where I am able to learn and I'm able to grow myself and reflect through learning from these amazing teachers that I've chosen to to learn from through their through their writing. So Audible is incredible. Another one that you can use is YouTube and look up Say you're, you're needing some type of motivation or you're feeling a lack of um, something in your life and you're really needing something to remind you of that infinite power that you are or of whatever it may be. Looking up on YouTube, even before, like you get into the car before you drive and get into traffic, feel into your body, take a moment, what am I needing right now? Look that thing up on YouTube, usually at least 20 minutes or more, put that on and you're going to feel incredible as you're driving through your traffic -y experience. Doesn't matter, come what may, you are going to be so centered and grounded. The other thing that I like to do is I like to make gratitude calls. And I like to call people and just give them thanks and praise and honoring and gratitude for their existence and for being in my life. And using it as a time to open up relationships and reconnect with old relationships and be able to just use that time on the phone. Of course, using your Bluetooth or your speaker in your um, sound system, plug it into your CD player. Also, I have one of those little things that it's a magnet on the back of my phone that holds the phone up so you're not using your hands. Very important uh, to do that. Um, but allowing that time to be a time where you're reconnecting and, and again opening up old relationships, making those phone calls to your parents that you've been wanting to do or that friend that you've been really wanting to reach out to and you haven't felt like you had the chance, traffic, perfect time to do that. Uh, the other thing is with the work that I do is a lot of coaching, which I now call love coaching instead of life coaching. And I get a chance to do my free consultation calls on the phone in traffic and getting to help people to nourish and heal their body naturally with the holistic healing that I do. So think about the kinds of calls that you're wanting to make and maybe feel like you haven't had the time to. Perfect opportunity for that. So to recap, I'll just give you a little quick version of the way that I like to do it. When I'm getting into my car, first thing I do before I drive away, I light my sage. Take a moment to really 
cleanse, release anything that's no longer is serving me, come back into my body, light my intention, light my Palo Santo, set my intention for the experience, for where I'm going, for the car to get me there safely. Then looking on my phone, uh, if I wanna do a YouTube video or Audible, kind of set that up. Or the other thing that I'll do is I'll put on some really beautiful, soft healing, sound healing music. Maybe check out my song, Look Within, on Spotify, SoundCloud, look up Rachel Kaddish, Look Within for that. It's a very, very potent song of remembering and healing to listen to when you're in traffic and feeling stressed out, having some anxiety. So a song like that, other kinds of things like that that are just powerful, sound healing, resonant, vibrational frequency of healing and love and connection. Um, so giving yourself that calming music, or maybe it's classical music, maybe you like classical, whatever it is that's gonna help you calm and relax your nerves, and also just trusting, trusting that you are at the right place at the right time, that a wizard, or whatever you wanna call yourself, a sorceress, a witch, whatever it is, is always on time. You are always on time and you are always exactly where you need to be. So just take a deep breath, release what no longer serves you or any expectations that you have for how that time was supposed to go or that you were supposed to be there at that exact moment. Just trust in the process as it unfolds and give yourself that sacred time to go inward and allow yourself to relax and trust the process, the process of the traffic. It's so beautiful when you really choose. It's all a choice, right? Everything is all perspective. So you have a choice of whether to see your traffic experience or your, your time on the road as hectic and frustrating and stop and go and ah! Or you can see it as a beautiful time to go inward, relax, take it easy, and set your intentions for the future. So thank you for listening. If you have any other questions about traffic or about what I personally do, my personal practice or anything in general as a love coach, as a relationship coach and a holistic healer, I would love to answer your questions. So go to my Instagram, Rachel Kaddish 1111, um, or you can comment here below on this video and would love to answer your questions. I would love to help you live your healthiest, happiest, most joyful self. So reach out to me anytime and I'm always here and available for you. Aloha, mahalo for being here with me. Have a beautiful day.